Good morning and welcome to Bowtie Life. I'm Bowtie Dave and we are sitting out here in the front garden looking at the sugar snow peas. And very excited. It's been one day, actually tomorrow, it will be four weeks since we planted the seeds out here for these uh, mammoth melting sugar snow peas. And they are growing. And I was wondering at the time um, how uh, high I needed to make this trellis from the ground. And right now I actually have my tape measure out here and I was measuring and it's about 12 inches off the ground and um, they're not quite reaching the trellis yet. <laughs> I've got to, I'm going to come through here and start trying to train them up the trellis. Uh, I know Scott Head said that peas will find that, but I know there's a point where they can't find it. and It's been very windy and I think they've been kind of, they might be reaching and then they get blown over and then they try to reach again and then they wrap around each other and it's just not happening. So uh, I'm gonna have to do something different. So a friend of mine was in a Dollar Tree or Dollar General, one of those stores, and found these little clips um, that are kind of interesting. They, uh, they're for clipping up plants. You put the plants in here and then you can clip this to uh, some kind of a garden trellis. Well, this is my trellis, the, these uh, um, cattle panels. And so uh, I decided I'm gonna give it a shot. And so some of these actually have separated like this one out right here. I'm gonna turn the camera down. I've separated this one out here and it's not, it's, it's just laying down. It was actually wrapped, you can see it. Um, there's another one over here. They're kind of wrapping around each other, but, with this, looky there, I can kind of grab the end of that and hopefully that will uh, start, it's, in fact it's reaching, it's trying to reach right there, so hopefully that will uh, um, help these things reach the trellis. Now like this one right here, trying not to damage them too much, uh, they, they've grabbed around each other, but see, this one here is not even quite tall enough to reach. So I think next year I'm going to have to lower these, uh, maybe bring them down to about, uh, I don't know, maybe eight inches. So a foot seems to be a little bit too high. And I, see, I can, yeah, this is a foot also, and it's not quite making it. And so now like this one here, look how tall this one is. It's, it's tall enough to reach it, but it hadn't been finding it. But it was, in fact, I had to peel it away from this one here and this one here, they were all wrapped up together, but it's nice and tall. However, these lower leaves are starting to get eaten by insects. And so I want to get that off the ground. And so we just take that, go around there and see it's, it's loose. It's not choking it or anything. It's going to allow it time to grow. And I'm going to take these clips off once they start reaching, grabbing. Uh, but to get, help get them started like that one right there, not even tall enough. So yeah, I, I think 12 inches is probably too tall. Scott Head, if you're watching this, um, I'm gonna tag you in this and, and ask you how high, you were talking about those nets that you're using for your trellis. And uh, I'm curious how high they were. It's, it's really hard to tell on the video because of perspective and all, but uh, I'm, I'm just curious how high your nets are from the ground when you set them. But anyway, I, I got this whole package of these um, plant clips. That's, what, that's all it's called, plant clips. And uh, so there's two sizes in here. There's these smaller ones and then there's some larger ones in here. And I remember when Susan gave them to me, I thought, I'm going to find some clever use for these. And granted, it's only going to be temporary. But I think these are going to be a ingenious solution because that little section on the end, this little right here where it gets smaller, that's perfect for the galvanized wiring on these, uh, these cattle panels. I mean, perfect. It's like it was made for it. You know, that one is just high enough. I'm gonna try. Hopefully this will not damage it. Hopefully it won't damage it with the wind. That's, that's my biggest concern is, is the wind damaging things. 
Oh, here's a perfect one. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing, is just kind of working my way through here, and any that are tall enough, I'm gonna try to get them hooked up, and uh, I'll, I might have to come back in another week and do this again for the rest of them, if they haven't found their way. But I'm, I'm hoping that just some of them find their way, maybe the others will be able to hook on and find their way as well. So yeah, here we go. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So that's it, there we go. <laughs> Just, you know, you never know what you're gonna find at those, at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, whatever you've got. And, uh, and, and of course their inventory changes regularly. So, you, you know, it's one of those kind of places you gotta go in every once in a while just to see what they have. And I gotta tell you, I'm really pleased with these clips. I only had one package of them and uh, I'm gonna use them and they will hook in they should start hooking in within a day or so, maybe maybe even quicker. Um, I'm just looking to see how many I have here. But uh, they'll hook in pretty quick, and as soon as they start hooking in and growing, uh, I'll go ahead and take that clip off and put it on another one. We have some really good staff at our uh, waste removal company here. Uh, waste we have waste management and I know all the guys they carry a lot of yard waste away for me trimmed off uh, citrus trees and stuff <laughs> it's it gets big piles out you've seen some of my videos and on days like that I'm meeting them out here with uh, cans of, with the jars of uh, pickles or jams or whatever they get they get special treatment from me because they do a lot for me anyway so yeah, I did find the little piece of paper that said I had 20 of these clips and I don't know how many uh, sweet mammoth melting sugar snow peas I have through here. There's a lot of them. And uh, I'll just, it should take us just a couple days. I'll move them down. So maybe by next week I'll have everything hooked up and it'll be growing in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, next year I'm gonna have to lower, definitely gonna have to lower this uh, trellis a little closer to the ground, but Anyway, this is just a silly little insert here, and uh, I thought it was just kind of neat. I, I hate to do stuff like this, and you know, I, I've seen little videos like this on other channels, and it's like, oh, that's a great idea. And then I, you know, I, I have some brain thing, and I think, and I think about it, and, and it solves another problem. So if this solves a problem for you, uh, great. If it doesn't, this is actually my own journal. Of things that happen in the garden and uh, I with my ADD brain I forget stuff and I look back on my old videos all the time and and uh, they remind me of things that oh yeah that's what I did last time and 
and uh, I'll, I'll have that solution. I'll put these clips away at the end of the season and I know where they're gonna go. They, they have a shelf where that kind of stuff goes, but I guarantee you I'll forget about them next year when I grow these again. Maybe even by September or October when I grow them again. So <laughs> we'll have to see once these are spent here in a few months uh, because of the heat, um, I'm gonna be planting beans on one side and then I might leave one side open for another round of snow peas come September. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I uh, appreciate this, all subscriptions. If you have, you come back and watch again. Thanks for watching. And um, click the thumbs up on this video if you thought it was informational, educational, or entertaining. And uh, share on your social media. So, have a blessed day.